vegetables and fruits. I said in multiple occasions how healthy and necessary they are to be regular in your budgie's diet. However, some of them are toxic while others are safe. Plus, I see a lot of people are frustrated that their budgies aren't eating any. Well, today is your lucky day, because we are going to cover everything in this video, from which veggies are good and healthy and which are not. How often should you give your budgie fruits and veggies and I will give you tips on how to get your budgie to eat them and not just wait for them to rot. Fruits and vegetables are very important in your budgie diet and if you remember from the video a while ago, they consist 25% of your budgie's diet. I'll keep a link in the description for that video. Veggies, they are one of the most important keys in keeping your budgie healthy. They contain many vitamins that are necessary in your budgie's diet. That's why giving your bird veggies on daily basis is healthy and not to mention leafy greens like lettuce for example. These type of veggies can provide your budgie with not only the benefits of the vegetable itself, but also they can be sort of a mini bath where your budgie will play, bath and have fun while eating a healthy diet. You see in the wild, budgies will look for this kind of vegetables with large leaves. After rain, these vegetables will keep some of the raindrops where your budgies can rinse themselves on them. With that being said, fruits are also healthy. However, you need to be careful as fruits contain a lot of sugar. And I wouldn't recommend you giving fruit to your birds more than once a week or so as a type of treat. Now that we know veggies can be provided to our parakeets every day or every other day and fruits no more than once a week, let's see how can we make our birds eat them and not just watch them go bad or be scared of them. First of all, if you just got your budgies from the pet store, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't jump on the vegetables the second you give them. Especially if they haven't tried it before, as I doubt pet stores give budgies any of them. So, if you see your budgies aren't trying to approach the vegetables you give them, just give them some time to accommodate to their new home and be more comfortable with their surroundings first. I'd say at least one or two weeks before you try. Now after that period of time, or if your budgies have been in your place for a long time and still wouldn't eat veggies, what do we do? There are many tricks on the internet, like putting some of their seeds on the veggies to get your budgie to taste them when he goes to eat his regular food, or show your budgie that you are eating the fruit to let him know it's safe. Or, and this is the worst one for me, is putting the food you are trying to feed your budgie in your mouth and let him come and eat from there. Not only these have been proven ineffective in my experience, but putting the food in your mouth is actually dangerous for your budgie, because mammals have some type of bacteria in their saliva that could be lethal to birds. But you can try all these other safe tricks, which none of them worked for me and please do share in the comment section below if any of these tricks worked for you. Anyway, I noticed two ways are the most effective ones. The first one is if you already have a budgie that loves veggies. When you put veggies in the cage where this budgie is with other budgies, he will go to eat and this will make all the other budgies curious and want some for themselves. So if you do have a budgie that loves veggies, just make sure he is with the other budgies that have never tried before and for me this trick always works. Now what if none of your budgies have ever tried veggies before and none would approach whatever you put in there? What do we do then? This other trick is for those of you who are having this kind of problem. Especially if I have a high cage. Putting veggies on the cage's floor would mean that they will rot with none of my budgies approaching them at all, even though I do know my budgies love veggies. So at first you can try and hang the veggies from the top side of the cage and leave it there. 
If your budgies are afraid of you, don't go near the cage and watch carefully from a distance. If it didn't work from the first time, you can try a second time in the next day. If they still didn't approach any vegetable you put in there, then just watch where is your budgie's favorite place to perch and hang it right in there. This will force your budgie to try it. Let's go back to our lettuce example. The leaves are too large and will take some of your budgie's comfortable place to perch. So at some point, even if he doesn't want to eat, he has to nibble and bite some of it to get back to his place. This way proved for me most effective. As first, this is the place where your budgie is most comfortable. And second, it is high in the cage that he wouldn't feel threatened that he needs to go down to the cage's floor and expose himself into some sort of danger. But of course, before trying and giving your budgie any fruits or veggies, you need to make sure that they are safe and non-toxic to your birds. Now if I want to name every single type of vegetable and fruit in this video, then this video will be a very long video. And also, even if you did watch till the end and got all the information you needed, you might forget if a specific fruit is safe or toxic, and when you come back to the video, you wouldn't know even where to start and look for it. So I made a table specially for you, and made it so it would be really easy and comfortable to use whenever you want to check on specific food if it's safe or toxic. Let me show you how easy it is to use the table. And from now on, you can check in 2 seconds about any food you want to give your bird. If you follow the link in the description, you will get to this table. First of all, you can manage how many entries you want to see at once. The default is 25. But you can even go down to 10 or up to 100. But still, that's not fast enough to go through the whole table to know if specific food is safe or toxic. So I will teach you how to use the search in the table. And also, you can arrange the table however you want. By name, by type, or by safe or toxic. For example, let's say I want to check if apple is safe or toxic. So you type in the search of the table, apple, and you will get all the results that have apple in them. We can see that apple is safe for our pet birds, however, the seeds are toxic. Because they contain cyanide, which is bad to our birds, and you should always remove the seeds before feeding the apple to your parakeet. Let's try another search, I'll type egg and I will find that eggs are safe. Eggplant, the vegetable, is safe as well, but the plant is toxic. And last trick, let's say you want to feed your budgie a vegetable, but you only want to see the safe vegetables, you are not interested to see the toxic ones. So you type in the search, safe. Of course, that brings all the results that are safe from nuts, seeds, fruits, to everything. So the next word is vegetable. And now, you can see only the safe vegetables you can feed your budgie. The same goes for fruit. You can type instead of vegetable, fruit, and you will see all the safe fruits. I hope this was helpful as we covered how often should we give our budgies fruits and veggies, how to know if they are toxic or safe, and how to make our budgies start eating them.
for more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.